Hi everyone and welcome to Season 3, Episode 4 of Mighty Moron with me, the United City FM. So, at the very beginning of the season, Chacarita Juniors beat us 3-1 on the opening day of the season away from home. Today it's our home game against them and it's time to get revenge. Can we do it? Let's find out. So here we are, late in November, just before we go off on our mid-winter uh, break, which is fantastic. It will give everybody a chance to recharge their batteries. We've done pretty well recently. We've had a good enough run of form since the last time you and I were together against Quilmes, where we just had that apparition of a result. 4-0 we lost, and I don't really know where it came from. The run before it was good, the run since it has been good. Today, we're kind of going to try and get revenge on Chikorita Juniors, um, who obviously beat us at the very early stages of the season, so time to get revenge for that. We've been on good form. I've, I'm really happy with how it's all going, but just before we go into this mid-winter break, where we take December off and then play some friendlies through January and have the January transfer window, let's see if we can end this calendar year on a positive note. So let's get into the tactics page and check out what we've got in store for Chacarita Juniors. <laughs> So as you would expect, we've got pretty much more of the same, to be honest. Um, Calidio has picked up a bit of a knock, but because it's the last game of the calendar year before we take that mid-season break, it is going to be um, possible just to play him for this one more game, I would hope, with no major consequences to it. But if at half-time or whatever he's struggling a little bit, Galliano's on the bench. Um, we've got a couple of fitness issues on our bench as well with Corzo Sanchez and Gaier also having a little bit of a, a, um, a bit of a fitness problem but not too bad at all and as I say because we've got the gap coming up after this game we'll play everybody and then we'll sort it all out in the next couple of months before we go again come early February when we come back into the game so uh, we've got basically our number one starting lineup out for today which is good on the pitch so it's Galvin in goal Echeverria and Ortiz in central defense Brogi at right back Ochoa at left back Federico Piero and Cabrera in central midfield Fernandez, the star of our show so far this season, on the right. Uh, Orozco on the left and Clidio up top with a bench of Corzo, Sanchez, Goyer, Chalky, Glabby, Saul and Galliano. So let's get into the last game of this calendar year against Chacarita Juniors, who we need to get revenge on and see what happens. <laughs> So we've gone for the revenge team talk. It's a good chance for us to avenge what happened to us last time we played Chacarita Juniors. This time we are at home. We're in decent form. We're in a good position in the league. We have to find a way to get these points and continue to march forward, closing the gap towards the top guys at the top of the division. There's a little bit of a gap between us and sort of second and first. Third place San Martin, not too far ahead of us. So can we close that gap? But it's Chacarita that come at us. But we win the ball at the left fullback position. And Orozco picks it up and runs almost the half length of the pitch. Un all uncontested. And then gets a long shot away. Probably could have continued his run a little bit more. And there's a free kick that came in from Orozco on that far side. And again, it's Fernandez on this left-hand side. And he has been an absolute superstar. But this time, he was just slightly offside. And the flag goes up and we don't quite get the goal. But he has been absolutely phenomenal for us this season. Fernandez playing out wide right. He's the leading goal scorer, the leading assist maker, the leading uh, average rating. It's basically just um, he's playing fantastically well and everybody else is struggling to keep up. A little bit disappointing though. We got a nil-nil at half time. We've played pretty well. The chances are not there in this game though, are they? 64% possession and only four shots at goal, two on target to show for it. Not quite good enough. We have to put a bit of a rocket up them at half time and just see if we can get a better performance out of them. Let's see what we can do. Um, I'm not happy with the performance. And that's fired them up, which is exactly what I want. So we won't do anything else other than that. And just put them straight back out into the second half and immediately go into the shouts 
and get them to push forward uh, in the early stages. A throw in for us down the right hand side. Brogy takes it, gets the ball back again to the byline, crosses it in, and they get it partially cleared. Cabrera picks up the loose ball, crosses it over to Orozco. So much space over the far side there for Orozco. Took his time brilliantly well. It was well spotted by Cabrera, and they're not going to take that one away from us for offside or anything. Brogy, great cross in. They get it partially cleared. Cabrera takes his time, gets it out from his feet, finds a Roscoe, and a first time half volley. Fantastic with his left foot there. And Chacarita Juniors go 1 0 down, and we are beginning to get our revenge on them. Can we hold on to this and maybe get a little bit more as the game uh, goes into the last half hour? So, in a minute, we'll be making a couple of personnel changes. But first off, Chacarita Juniors come at us with a corner kick, and they get a really decent header back across goal. Can't quite loop into that far corner, though. And at 67 minutes, that's when we're going to pause the game and just see what we've got to play with here. We've got uh, Fernandez again. You build someone up, have a bad day. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. It's happening every episode for me. And he is going to come out and Glabby will go in because he's just not quite performing at the level I want him to. Clidio had a little bit of a knock, didn't he? And he's not playing brilliantly. So we'll take him out and put Galliano up top. Can we find a new striker in the January transfer window? I kind of feel we need to, but it's going to be a bit tricky, I think. Um, and we've got one more to make. And I think what we're going to do is take one of these yellow cards out. And we're going to take Ochoa out and put Sanchez in at left fullback. And just leave Echeverria there with a yellow card and hope he can get through it. But that's what we're going to do in terms of our personnel. But yeah, striking position is one of the two that I'd really like to be able to improve if I can. The other being the goalkeeping position. Galvin is doing okay we're doing fine with him, but I think we can find a better one potentially. So those are the two positions I'll be looking for in January. But on this occasion, a 1-0 win, whilst not being phenomenal, got us the points, got us revenge over Chacarita Juniors, keeps our um, title uh, aspirations in check. We've got nine points behind the top side Belgrano. Bit of a gap to do that maybe, but let's see if we can maintain this top three or four position and get back into those playoffs again and make a better fist of it this time around than we did last season. That is the ultimate aim. And now we sit in third place after 16 matches going into the mid-season break, which is fantastic. So before we finish off the episode and just check out who we come back to face in February, let's go and analyse the performance. So the summary page is kind of interesting reading, really. We got a 1-0 win. We had seven shots at goal, five on target. Five on uh, five on target for us is phenomenal out of those seven shots. But we could have pretty much uh, do with doubling the attempts, at least, really. Uh, but they didn't have much on offer at all. They had five shots at goal, one on target. We had lots more possession than they did. Higher average rating than, we, than they did. And we played pretty well overall. Lots of midfield possession. Um, you can see that that central midfield area is where we had most of the, the heat map source. Um, and that's fine by me. We, we feed it through the centre to go out wide or go through the centre um, right the way up to the top. There's, there's plenty of chances and choices there for us. And we played pretty well. Um, down the right-hand side, we got 44% of our uh, focus of attacks. And it was Fernandez that didn't quite get at the races today, did he? Down this right-hand side, which is why we maybe had a little bit of a disconnect in getting chances in the end. We'll check that out with the crosses in a second. Um, let's just go into that team thing, uh, team section and look at the shots that we had that are off target. We know that we got a goal, but these are the ones that we had off target. A couple from outside the box, a couple from inside. They were either blocked or stopped by the goalkeeper or... Uh, we got them. Uh, we shot off target. Maybe there's a couple in there. So, but that's not too bad. But we could have potentially had more. That was what we were list, uh, missing a little bit today. Were those chances created? Let's look at the passes. And there's two that I like to check in here. And it's the intercepted ones. These ones I'm not bothered about. It's these ones that we need to be a little bit more accurate getting it into that final third of the pitch. Uh, so that's something that we can improve on. And out of play today, not too bad. Cleared the lines when we needed to. Um, uh, sorry, that would... Yeah. 
and then we uh, these ones again are the ones that I really want to improve as we're moving into the attacking third and that's where we lost out on getting more chances today crosses though um, let's look down the wide areas and specifically let's look down the uh, wide right area and see um, it's here Fernandez, number 11, you can see he's had four attempts down this side, along with three from Brogy that uh, were intercepted as they went into the box. And that's where we didn't quite have the quality. That final ball into the area wasn't quite there today. A little bit disappointing on that. And out of play, we didn't have any. So that's not too bad. Um, so crosses. Yeah, that's where we didn't quite manage to do what I really wanted us to do. Let's look at the interceptions. These are the ones that we made. Lots of good interceptions for the likes of Ortiz and Echeverria in that central defensive area. And a couple for our, um, Federico, our central defensive midfielder as well. So he played well. Um, and you can see that the same sort of players all the way uh, in this area and out here were the ones intercepting. So our defence did pretty well today. Um, the interceptions that we missed, there's a few in there. And primarily it's from Cabrera in this sort of area, which was a bit of a problem. Um, and the block shots, we got two in. One from Federico, the defensive midfielder, and one from our left back, Ochoa. So interceptions, they did pretty well. Set pieces. Are we making the most of our set pieces? Throw-ins? Not really doing too much with them, are we? Attacking free kicks? We only had the one. We were stifled a little bit in this area of the pitch, it felt like. Couldn't quite get that through ball to the last um, part of the, the penalty box for chances. We had one attempt through a free kick there and a, def a few defensive free kicks. Okay, fine. Corners? Enough to hope that we would get a couple of chances from them. Didn't, again, quite work out that way. But ultimately, it's not too bad because we got the points today. Shots at goal. Let's just go and uh, take out the Chacarita one so we can focus on our own ones. And there's a good amount in this central area, but maybe we need to be working the sides of the, uh, the goal a little bit, making the goalkeeper do some work. And we had one that sailed right over the top from Ortiz and then just narrowly wide out left from Orozco. Again, it's that final third that didn't we didn't quite get it to the final third enough to really create the chances today, and that's something we need to improve on a little bit. Uh, but Fernandez has been doing that much better than today for quite a number of games, so hopefully he's had a little bit of a blip. When he's had a rest and comes back in February, hopefully he'll be a lot stronger. Let's go to the team talk and just boost them a little bit before we go on the uh, mid-season break. Good win, boys. Well done. And then we'll come out of the match day experience. Check out that that's put us in third place in the Primera B Nacional of Argentinian football, which is fantastic. Got a little bit of a gap between us and Quilmes, the, the team that absolutely battered us in the last game. And then even bigger gap to Belgrano. But that's not what I'm particularly worried about. I'm just worried about maintaining this sort of third, fourth position and sort of fending off some of these chasing pack and getting back into those playoffs again. So let's go and check in uh, with the uh, schedule page again and just see what it is that we're coming back to when we have finished our winter break and come back in February. Well, there you go. What more can you ask for? Belgrano, top of the table, Belgrano. It's a perfect opportunity after having had a bit of a break to see if we can uh, reel them in a little bit and win three points off of them that closes that gap just slightly. It's going to be a tall order away from home. And who knows what we'll be able to do in this January transfer window. When we're playing the friendly matches, we've also got the transfer window. And I hope to do some business. I hope to get some dead wood out of the club as well, if I possibly can. But that's proving nigh on impossible. Nobody's biting on my players, unfortunately. Uh, but we'll continue to do so. But that's what we're going to come back for in the next episode. Belgrano, see if we can close that gap at the top of the table. Um, just by another three points would be fantastic. And between now and then, I've got some work to do. So I'm going to get on and do that. And I hope to see you next episode. And I'll tell you all about what we did in the January transfer window. And I'll catch you up with our friendly matches as well. So thank you for watching today, though. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and join my United City community, the more the merrier. Click that like button for me. It helps me get seen by loads of other people if you do that. 
Um, and until next time, take care of yourselves. I'll see you really very, very soon. Bye for now.